Hi, I'm Chris with CNH Auto Accessories in Margate, Florida, and today we're going to talk about our delivery work truck. Exciting, right? Well, come on over here. Let's take a look here. This here, not that one. Ah. This one. <laughs> this is a, a 2013 Ram 1500 I bought brand new, and uh, over the years we've been adding stuff to it. Uh, as you can see, we, we've done a, a rice and stripe from it. Uh, we, we've done the fender flares, bull bars, lift, tires, wheels, cover, everything you can think of. And we're going to go over a couple of those things today. Um, we did design the stripe for it. Basically, it's a Rumble B, and it says CNH Racing. Um, this way, you give the, the hood a little bit more dimension with that. We also changed out the grill here. And from a, this was a, a Express, and we went with this grill here, which uh, I might go ahead and uh, flip on some lights so you can see what the kind of light we've done here as well. Now we change out the headlights. Those are spider lights, which uh, are actually extremely reasonable. And they're just a good looking light. I like it it's for the money. It's a good value. Uh, I change out the bulbs for the fog lights. These are LEDs. So at night, it really does a good job brightening things up. There is some yellow lights as well inside the grill here, which I uh, didn't turn on, but uh, basically got those. And we also have this one up, which I will turn that one on. Right? Okay, I'll put a couple more lights on. You can from this. Let's see. So we got this big one here, and we got that one there. Now, uh, this one here, I, I put some yellow fog lights in here. Not sure if I'm keeping them. They, they actually, I got them for free. And it's up in there if I'm going to keep them. I do like the LED we got here from Southern Truck. Uh, unfortunately, I put these on. These These were some Chinese ones. And within one day, there's a little bit of water in it. You believe that? But hey, it got where I paid for it. The more expensive one, no water. So that's what you get when you pay for them. I'm going to flip those off real quick, and then I'll show you some other stuff. Now we changed out the fender, well actually we put fender flares on, we put some bushwhackers on there. Now we did order these painted, that's right, I can get them painted right from the factory. This has been on for seven years, I got it when it was brand new, and as you can see, they use a very good paint, it's aged perfectly, and most people would think this is a newer truck. Uh, and uh, I think for seven years, I think they look very good. Now, the few changes I've done, off, you can see this, but I took off the factory hardware from the fender, and I replaced it with spikes. And a lot of people don't realize you don't have to use the, the chrome uh, uh, hardware. You can put black hardware. You know, as you can see, you can put some spikes on it. You could do black spikes, gray spikes, uh, or chrome again. And uh, the only drawback with the spikes, uh, when we go around here, you'll notice a couple missing is because when I was cleaning, I caught one and the other one, someone else broke it off. I go, well, I guess they went to see if they're real or not. So uh, also, I decided to go with some uh, little bigger tires. Uh, I got 20 inch rims on here by Tough. Those are 20 by 10s, and then we want some 35, 12 and a half uh, tires on here, and I did do a mud terrain tire. Now, to be honest with you, I probably should have gone with a, a hybrid tire, like an RT, uh, but I only live a mile and a half from the store, so it's not too bad, but uh, you know, on the highway, these do have a tendency to hum a little bit, so uh, if you're looking to be stealth, eh, not so much with the mud terrains, but hey, when the weather gets bad, they're not too bad. So come around here, let's look at some other stuff, as you can see over here, I got some auto vent shades, and those are uh, side vent visors. And I did get the in channel, if you notice they're inside the window. And I just think it gives it a little cleaner look. Um, we did put some black covers here. These originally are chrome. And I've been deep, uh, taking all the chrome off my truck. Uh, also, I got some uh, AMP Research power boards, which are a little dirty right now. Uh, but for seven years, they work great. And they take a lot of abuse. Now you come around here, I also changed out the gas cap. I put a metal one with the lock. This way I don't have to worry about someone taking my gas. Also, if you look over here, I got a nice little bar here from Go Rhino, uh, which I do have a light attached to it. And I love the Go Rhino products. I like the little Rhino there. I was actually thinking about maybe putting a light in there. I think that would look nice. And uh, as you come back here further, you'll see I have Truck Covers USA American Roll Cover, which uh, I had a detail today, so you can still see all the armor roll on it. Um, now, I like this cover. It is a full metal rolling cover. Like every time we do a video. <laughs> okay, so this thing opens up very nicely. As you can see, it opens up very quickly. Um, it holds 500 pounds, and I, I did get the racks added to this. And uh, I do like to go camping. I put a, a safari basket on here. I put all kinds of stuff here. We put coolers up top here. I put kayaks, bicycles, whatever you want. I put it up there. I also had the bed rug in here, which has been here for a while. 
And actually, you know, for all the stuff I put in here when we go camping, it, it takes a lot of abuse and it still looks really nice. And it does really good. It doesn't scratch things off like if you have a spray in. And of course, I love my swing cases. Uh, again, I got these things built to the max with everything you can think of. And uh, I like to have a nice organized bed here. And I'll come over here and I'll show you this one. Like uh, I started at this one about first. And I got my jumper cables in there and I got all my goodies in there. And I can take this out, like for sometimes, I'll take this out, fill it with ice and put soda and beer in there. Uh, and that's really cool. And then I uh, lock that up there. And I just really like this cover. Uh, now, I don't know if you noticed, but I did put a dampener on here. I think you can see the DZ shock over here. So this way the tailgate will close nice and slow. I also put a, a back over here, if you look, a Go Rhino step. Now what's nice about that Go Rhino step is it's easier for me to get up here. Now, I can, as you can see, it holds quite a bit of weight and I can put stuff in my safari basket when it's up here if I'm loading up my kayak. Really easy to do. Uh, it really comes in handy. I really, and I'll also do a few things like that. I got some logos here. I put uh, some backup sensors. I put some lights back here so when I, I go in reverse, it lights up very nicely. And I change out the exhaust tip to some Go Rhino exhaust tips. So, I even change out the lights in here, so, so which I have to uh, put the bolt on. Now I also have another little step here. Now this is again helps me get into the back here. You know, when I put my stuff back here, I can get it. Now I push it right out of the way. It's very easy. I like what I've done with the truck, and again, it is a work truck. This is our delivery truck. I use it for delivering to the dealerships. I, you know, uh, take it all around town. We also use it for our truck shows because I am the president of the South Florida Truck Club And you know, you don't want to show up in a stock truck, you know, so uh, as you can see I've done some stuff on it And I, I like what I've done with it because I have not changed the ability to use it as a truck uh, I still use it for work. I still do whatever I need to do with it uh, I dressed it up, but a lot of the stuff are very practical and does serve a purpose uh, the lights You know, I can see better at night um, the bug shield here actually I dented the hood and I covered the, bug, you know, the, the dent up. So there's a lot of benefits here. I love this truck. Uh, I just love Rams. I, it's been very happy with this truck. And just, you know, if you're going to get something, dress it up the way you like it. You can personalize it. When I bought this truck, I told him, I said, I don't want everything on it. I want nothing on it. I kept, give me the bigger engine. Give me the Hemi. The rest I'm doing. And the guy's like, why? I go, I go look, I'm the owner of c &H Auto Accessories. I can do whatever I want with this truck. I lift it, tires, everything covered. Now she is my personal truck. When this goes around town, you know, people know there's no other trucks like this. I've done a lot of things that, that makes it unique to this area. And I'm very happy with it. And we like to do that for your truck. So if you want to come by CNH Auto Accessories and you want your truck to be fixed to your liking, we can do that. Also, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video. Again, I'm Chris with CNH Auto Accessories. Have a great day.